God, if Ricky wasn't such a terrible hero, I would pick Ricky. Yeah, it's his Queen of Pain. I think this one was it, like we've seen Copy absolutely own on this hero before, and then you made a really good point about the spiders earlier. If they are near the Quap, I feel like at some point you're going to have to rely on your Mars to just come through the Twin Gate and kill her. But the other problem is, ooh, well, we'll come back to that thought is Fly taking a lot of damage. Well, they're actually turning it back around. Hold on, Yuma underestimating the Luna. He's got a Lucid Beam in one, and that is the first blood. Making his rotation down here as well with a haste rune. Sonic Wave is available. And it looks like they might just be playing for that wisdom rune. They're going to TP on some heroes. Fly tries to... Oh, he does get it. Wait a minute. That's huge. I thought he would rip the ult there, actually. But I did too, but... If I it's mean... just a full escape... Oh, well, he's just going to haste chase the brood. He doesn't even need to use the sonic wave. Oh, okay, maybe he does. Are we doing it? Insatiable Hunger. Flies dead on the backside. There's your Sonic Wave. I mean, this is a huge win for Nouns. They bring one less hero. Hit his tower as Fly will be the one walking top. Scouting out Skem. There's an arena available. Silence is out. Fear to pin him against the wall. Takes him out of the Nature's Grasp, but still plenty of damage to finish the job. They oh, know but they're reading this. It. They have the ward. Gunner's just going to go follow him. He's walking in, he's got the arena, traps in this Wind Ranger as there's the Eclipse to follow it up, and she is dead. Kill. Go in the way of the Luna. That ward is paying dividends right now. That's such a cool play by Nouns. They finish that Omni Knight, so they do want the Wind Ranger, right? Wind Ranger knows it. She's like, okay, I'm just going to go through the Twin Gate. I'll help Brood take bottom. They TP here first with the help of that ward. Now, it does look like they're going to find a kill onto Lelis, but I don't know. You're carry for the position four. No, that doesn't feel the best. Big rotations mid. I mean, this would be a nice little pickoff. Gunner goes for the blink, has the spear sent back to low ground, and he just gets popped. A nice Avatos in from Yopaj. Copy. Had that shield room. Now going to look for Skem. Purification trying to give him a little bit of space. They end up just dropping the arena. They don't want to deal with the pesky Omni Knight either. Both supports dead. This should open up the mid-tier one tower. Is this just dead? Are they not going to be able to respond to the Broodmother push? They're on their, their way in. Cool. They find the Treant. They're going to go and toss him out. Does he get the overgrowth? He does on to four, but can they get out now? A oh, huge Sonic wave as well. Can they get Yamato to safety? No, it's the Eclipse. Oh, you tossed in the wrong hero, Shopify. That's going to be a massive win for Nouns as Yopaj on the run. Hits an avalanche, but silenced up, trying to just TP to safety. He's going to make it out, but oh my god, the cost is heavy. Oh my Oh, man. They're gonna find Yopaj. Bold just immediately lets the Eclipse rip, and Gunner comes in with the Ink Spell. He's trying to find heroes on the backside. He's trapped three in the arena. There's gonna be the Omni ult, but the Overgrowth into the Soulbind double silence. The Glaives are just doing so much damage here. Yuma, he might die. They're gonna try and do what they can. Avalanche tossed back here from Yopaj, but here comes Copy. He's got the Sonic Wave. Lets it go. Takes down the Tiny. He cannot TP out. Buybacked on the Omni. Might be able to get this Hellscream Batrider out of here, but we'll see. Inkswell up. Copy. He's going to blink. Tries to find the Batrider. Doesn't get him. Amaterasu quite scary here on the bat or on the uh, Brood Mother, though. Yeah, you got to be a little careful. Amaterasu, he's just been whittling away enemy heroes this whole time, though no more spiders. I think he needs to be careful now. Copy can just snipe him. He's got an ink swell, jumps in. They will get the stun, trying to be safe from Skem. Gets the so uh, the repel, and that's doing quite a bit of work here. In comes Fly. He's trying to get the root. Doesn't find him quite yet. Holds him off to the side. There's going to be a dust. Dude, this fight's been going on forever. Wind Ranger is back, coming in. Power shot. They're going to lose the tree. It's time to call it quits, Nouns. And they are done with this fight. Oh, the blink toss on Luna. Oh, very nice. Yuma going to get caught from the ink swell. The dispel, it doesn't come out because of the, the stun, but they get him out anyway. Oh, my goodness. How? 
I have how that no even? idea how. <laughs> At all. <laughs> they need to back. Right? Surely? Well, okay. Again, no, uh, one more spell patient. combo. They got it. But Copy. Broodmother. Into the ink swell. Broodmother gets chain stunned down. And just like that, it's going to cost you a big hero. Probably just going to have to sack some towers while you try to finish these items. Gunner wants to go. Arena's out. They've got the Wind Ranger. A very easy kill. They thought for sure they were behind the Luna top, but it was all a lie. I, I like that he sends the illusion forward to hit the uh, kind of like the buffer building. Oh, toss back. Yuma in a little bit of trouble. They're too afraid to fully engage, though, and I don't blame them. Like, you, this is an Aegis Luna. You've got so many here behind them, Gunner. Maybe an Ink Swell to Dispel gets him out. Nice uh, sidestep there to prevent the Shackle. Arena's in 15. He has a BKB. He needs to be a little bit careful. Yamato's going to come in with that Whirlwind. Gunner trying to absorb as much of the damage as possible. There's going to be a nice overgrowth. Yuma Dispelled turns it around. He's got his BKB. He's got so much damage. 84 bonus from these Lucid Beams. He's trying to get some help from Scan, but it's not enough. Copy. Now going into the base. He's got that Sonic Wave at the ready. Will he delete this Omni? He's going to try. He gets in a the decent fountain. attempt to toss him into the fountain, but not enough. Nouns. Maybe you skip bottom tier two with that amplified damage on the table and only a minute and a half on Aegis. Just go straight for the second racks. Mid lane again, the ink swell. This time placed on the Luna and a spear back. Fast Roche spawn, they get that, right? And suddenly uh, they're back like 10K. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Nouns take this save for the first win. Just hold this map, wait for that Roche. See if you get a pick off. Perhaps oh, on Amaterasu. That's the big one. He's silenced up. He's going to get repelled for the moment, but the arena comes out, and you cannot escape the Soulbind into the Eclipse. Yuma deletes these two heroes. Gunner's going to jump in, look for more. Pops the BKB. The double buyback is there, but the lasso instantly dispelled. He's just going to BKB TP out. He's gone. Oh, Copy just turns around with a Sonic Wave for fun, but gets caught from the lasso. Silence here will prevent the Tiny from helping him. Gunner's got to rejoin his team, but... I think, honestly, now they can just delete them. He goes in again. The Dagon is way too much damage. And Yuma still got the BKB at the ready. The Overgrowth catches Yopaj. He can't leave. This game is over. Nouns one crush more copy. Shopify in game one. 29 to 6 at 30 minutes. Okay, they do go for the Ranger, safe. like you said. Yeah, it's a very safe pick. Beastmaster should get what he needs, but... I uh, won't be able to like shut down a Wind Ranger. Five games in a row, Tiny. <laughs> Do you think he's bored, man? <laughs> no, I can't. Even, like I can't even imagine what Yopaj is uh, dealing with right now. He's like Bulba, please. Good attempt from Hellscream, but Fly's gonna be just fine. Oh, Ooh, cancels the salve fine. though. He cancels the salve and a courier kill. All right, oh, this is rough. Here. Drinking buddy tries to give the move speed. Tanks Blocks, the arrow. Tanks the arrow. Snowball to dodge the axes, but they're both in so much trouble here. Yuma is trying to run for his life. Gets the wind run off. A nice scatter shot. Scatter blast. Tiny's making his way up here. And Galels is in trouble. Yeah, he's gonna scout this rotation. If they see Yuma, this is a crash landing disaster. Ooh, okay. The avalanche going to connect. The arrow does not. Tusk coming back in. They're bringing a lot of heroes. And Storm Spirit is now on the way. Amaterasu at no HP. There's going to be a disruption. Now looking for Skem. Skem's going to go down. Amaterasu will be next. You lose the Snapfire in the process. But that's some quick stacks for the Storm. That's a 7-minute Wisdom Room. That's going to go the way of the Dragon Knight. He knows he can't be contested for this one. Gunner. That's pretty nice. I mean, they can k prevent him from TPing, right? Just try to stay on him. Blood grenades out. There's the cookie on forward. Yuma's coming in as well. Pops that whirlwind. So you get yourself a kill for it at least. But I think they got both wisdom runes for it. So I think it ends up being they okay. Did. Very easy. Very even game in the moment. A slight gold advantage for Shopify. Just thanks to grabbing... Uh, some early kills and a lot of damage out onto this 
Doom in the bottom side. A nice arrow. I don't, don't think he can get out of here. He is stuck. Gonna go for the snowball. Buy as much time as possible, but fly. No way out. Very good play there from the Shopify supports. They'll build to go through the towers here towards the jungle camp. And they got him. This is a nice gank. Slowing down this Ags is absolutely massive. Doesn't pop the Vortex, but the Mortimer Kisses are there. Now Hellscream's actually in quite a bit of trouble. Poppy's gonna come in, drop the Remnant, get the kill. He's low on mana though, needs to get to safety. Does make it to the other side of the river here though. And Skem's gonna try and chase as he bottles up. Blood Grenade's out, a Shackle will hold the Tiny at bay. And he will grab himself a Lotus, Arrow connects, hold on, Copy. Toss. I don't think there's Star enough Storm. damage. Uh, he's still too tanky. He just pops the zip TP to safety. They're going to go for a quick don't. D ward here. Fly should get it. The question is, will they go to stop him? They do. The avalanche, the toss back, but the big roar on the backside. They've got the storm spirit, but the snowball comes through. Lelis ends up walking into the arrow, and there's going to be the whirlwind chasing down Skem. The doom's going to connect onto the shadow demon as well. They will lose the support and the Beastmaster, but can you get out of this? Gunner gets himself a double kill as he finishes off Skem. Yamato, the dragon form is going to expire. Blinks in with the dragon tail. Pipe is available. He's going to pop this, try and survive. Yopaj just tosses him back in it. Gleipnir is out. He'll lose room to dispel by uh, him a little bit of time. He'll be able to just disengage both teams. Your carry Dragonite is not that scary. This build is really interesting, though, because he actually got the shard on Yamato because he's like, well, I need farming speed. I don't have armlet mask. Copy just out of here. Uh, he saw one hero and was like, uh-oh, there's more than one hero. He's trying to get the roar. The arrow is coming through. This is a massive kill if they can Lies find it. Hiding in the trees. Close. He's just juking them back and forth. They will finally pop the blink, the stun, the dragon tail, everything they need to bring down this Storm Spirit, take away some of those galvanized stacks. Long Roche spawn, two and a half minutes. So that's gonna allow it to spawn Dire Side. They're looking for Scam here, jump in. He just dooms him right away, but an avalanche from Yopaj will bail him out. Storm Spirit, he's somewhere else. Gunner's just gonna try and TP, cannot make it thanks to the disruption. He is just gonna be food for the side of Shopify here. Uh, meanwhile, Amaterasu just takes down Tusk. Two dead on the side of Nouns, and they're just going to disengage. They got nothing left here. They see him again. He's going to pop that wind run. He's got to get out of here. He might be getting baited. Oh, yeah. There you go. Avalanche toss into the arrow. The easy follow-up. They got him. Nicely done from Shopify, finding a series of kills. And this time, it's going to be Yamato just blinks in, Dragon Tail into the Fireball. A lot of damage here to fly, but Drinking Buddies will be able to get away. Dire, they do scan this mid lane. The blink in to the Avalanche toss. Gets Copy a little low, but a nice Drinking Buddies from fly. He's got an Amplified Damage Rune and a BKB. Copy is going in. The disruption, where is it? You need some help. Gunner gets a stun on the Hellscream on the backside. They're looking for more. They're just going to be able to get the Gleipnir stun onto the Marana. And now when Hellscream rejoins the fray, he can't go anywhere. Two quick picks for the side announced. Doom still available. And with this, Roshan number two is going to go the way of Shopify. Aegis into the bag of the Dragon Knight. Meanwhile, mid lane. Avalanche toss into the arrow. A lot of damage here for Fly, but Drinking Buddies is up to the high ground. And a roar is raiding for him. Never mind, he's gone. Nice find from Shopify. It would have been hard. I mean, it, the thing is, like, you could have just at least baited it. You have decent fight around the Roche pit, right? With Doom, Mortar McKisses, stuff like that. Compy, speaking of which, gonna try and find a solo kill here, but the the er, or the pipe comes out. Gleipnir's out. Yuma with this. Whirlwind now looking for an opening, but he's got to close the gap and get in range of Amaterasu. The cookie connects. They wanted the Marana. They get a much bigger kill. And now Yuma will be forced to BKB and TP home. Copy, though. Ooh, he had a haste rune. Never mind. He's out. Lelis not going to be so lucky, but that's a pretty worthwhile trade. Dragonite did get an MKB, so now he, he really will start doing quite a lot of damage especially with the Solar Flare, and yeah. now he'll have the True Strike against that Wind Ranger. 
Poppy disseminates. Damage is absolutely absurd. That is a hundred to zero. Dragonite, you gotta find someone else. The smoke might pop on Lela's top side. They're trying to get okay. They're pinging something. They're like, "Yo, God, someone's above us." Instead, they're just gonna grab Scam here quickly down in the mid lane. There's Yopaj though. That's a, a much gem. bigger kill. If you can close the gap on Gunner, break his blink dagger. They do. Gunner just needs to get in range for the Doom. He's got him. This is a big fight here for Nouns to take. Like you said, they lose the gem and they get two kills. Roche is one minute off. Whoever wins this fight most likely will get it. Unless it's one of those weird, long, dragged out, no one dies fights. Cool. You see the ward? Gunner goes Evo's. in. Sees oh, the avalanche comes out. He's saved thanks to the shield rune. So he gets the blink to safety. Yamato with his own BKB. Gunner goes in. Gets to stomp the dooms out. That's where you want it. Gonna prevent the tiny from doing much. The backside of the fight, they take down two supports. But they're gonna buy back the dragon. Oh, taking so the much damage. Can they bring down this Wind Ranger? They can. That's a massive find for Shopify. Full disengage now required for Nouns. Reflected stun here from Lelis. He's gonna try and bring him to the high ground with Fly. He does. Amaterasu looking at Chase. Cookies to the low ground. If Nouns can get away, this is huge. Fly cannot afford to die here. He just bought back. Poppy trying to it stay close look for like drinking he's gonna buddies. Make it. Yeah, no chance. Oh, so much damage coming in with the Solar Flare. One Roar and that Wind Ranger is dead. He needs to blink out. Oh, he's actually got a really good jungle creep, but he, they find him. He is stuck, nowhere to go. Right on the ledge, 1v1 against the Beastmaster, but gets a little bit of help there. From the Not tiny. Expecting the 1v1. Uh, this is, is making its way this through is the Yamato. Roach. It's doing a lot here. Hellscream's coming in to try and save him. They break. The Lincolns oh, and just around. four or five auto attacks. Yuma goes down. Oh my goodness, way too much damage. They go ahead, pop the BKP on the Storm Spirit to take down Hellscream, but this Dragon Knight is too big. Four dead for nouns with now buybacks on the important heroes. This is probably just GG. Is that the Snapfire buyback? I have 70 seconds, no Wind Ranger. This if is looking like it's it. I think they have a banner too, just in case there's like a fortify. If your oh, team Shadow was closer, Demon. you know, initially when you go for the Dragonite there, like even if it's just the Tusk, you probably kill Yamato on his first life at least, or at least force the BKB and you can back. But it took way too long. We saw the Revenant's Broach idea at least, right? I feel like Viper actually is pretty good here. Pretty good lane versus Earth Spirit, Break versus Bristle, Enchantress. I'm kind of up for it. I think it makes sense. Like, Q on the the Enchantress creeps. What? Skem's got it! All right. He really needs to find a, a powerful jungle creep. All right. Well, how's mid going? Uh, Pango, few CS lead over uh, the Earth Spirit in his uh, counter pick. Doing okay for himself, but both kind of getting what they, they need. They have a hurricane. Uh oh, Skem. Gets pulled back under the tower. They were actually trying to go for a dive here with a rotation in from the Visage. And that's going to be a quick kill. Acceptable this game. Like, I think you can do it. Just do Visage offlane. Yeah, I'm trying to think what the alternative was. Like, was Skem supposed to play the Dark Willow? But then why not, like, instead of putting Doom... Like, because it had to be... I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to think too much about it. I'll try and get some clarification later. Great roll in from Copy. They bait the Shadow Realm from the Dark Willow there. And uh, Copy will just kick that Dark Willow to death. Gunner bottom lane taking a lot of damage here. He did go the Snot Rocket facet, which is kind of sick. And that is negative nine armor on the Visage. He needs to be very careful. Was that with the Omni that bopped the Marana? Maybe that was just regular nasal goo. On the gunner. Nice drinking buddies to save, but here comes the rolling thunder in from Yopaj. Gunner. Gotta try and dodge this one out. Shield crashes there, but he can't make it out. Nice kill. As Lelis will be next. Rolling Thunder comes to an end, but the Breathe Fire catches him, and it's a double kill for Yamato. Right before seven minutes. They should be able to get that wizard room. Fly is already making the rotation over for the others, but 
They've got plenty of heroes coming in. They are not giving this up. So, Fly likely going to go down here. Plus, the rune. Wait, jump in here on copy. They actually get both Wisdom Runes and a huge Magnetize. Wait a minute, Nouns. Can you chase for more? Copy's got to roll in a moment. Going to maybe go for it. Does not connect. All right. Well, I thought for sure they were going to get both Wisdom Runes, but instead goes Nouns way. And now Gunner's looking to dive Yamato here. Up to six Nasal Goose stacks as there is a Lelis Tusk coming in from downtown. They are going to hit this guy really hard. But they need a little bit more help. This tower does some serious damage. Great shard block. Yeah, I'm not quite six. Otherwise, maybe you could go for a Doom play. Still just five and a... It's five and a half. It's more like, I don't know, three quarters. Oh, that's an Eclipse rotation. That's very nice. Yuma got stunned up, so he couldn't grab the last hit. Lelis cleans it up, but a very nice movement of the Luna through the Twin Gate. And it looks like the smoke's going to pop. He's going to try and chase after him. They both get... Oh, what a sidestep, actually. But I don't know if he's making it out of this one. Doom comes out. The Snot Rockets. Going to start throwing these slows onto these other heroes. He, he might live away. because of this, actually. They can't for some chase NA them. math. Hold NA up. Math? He's out. Hellscream, however, not looking as lucky. Nice stomp. The Magnetize continuing to go. Yopaj, though, comes through. Roll on in. He's trying to keep the magnetized ticking, but Copy's in so deep, and he's going to get chain stunned down. That is not a trade you want to make. And you don't get the tier 1 tower either as the Dragonite comes in to stop this Luna's push. I was probably so, so low level, actually. Dude. Well, he's almost 5, I guess, but both They're supports so under-leveled for Shopify. <laughs> Come on. They've got to see this, right? <laughs> wow, there he is. Jump scare. In the roll from Copy, but they're not going to do it. He's uh, a little bit too tanky on the Doom. He's gone just double bracers and a phase boost. They're going to be able to drop the Magnetize in the Vessel, kick him back. Snowball is there to dodge the Stomp. He's going to drop the Doom, but he gets the roll out at the last second. Gem's going to survive this. The question is, how much more can you get now? Yopaj looking for Lelis off the back of this Rolling Thunder. Tries to pop the Drinking Buddies. He'll be able to get a little bit of distance away. But the slow comes through. Nice shards block. Yamato needs to get in range for this Dragon Tail. Lelis, it's looking kind of scary for him at this point. Terrorize comes out. Dragon Tail connects. Or the Terrorize connects. Meanwhile, Luna just snipes Skem in the jungle. He ends up just walking up, hitting the Eclipse, and finds the kill. I assume the level 6 on Visage support, you still take familiars? I don't know, it's so weird. You got it, right? Rolls in, copy. He's got the Vessel, needs to throw that charge out. He does nice terrorize out from the Dark Willow, but Amaterasu has pretty much got nowhere to go. And the kill will go to Yuma. It's unfortunate, but if you manage to stall this out for like 10, 15 minutes and Visage is able to just kind of farm up, I feel like you're gonna have to be in a pretty okay spot. He's just gonna go for the boots of bearing after the double uh, bracer here. Mid lane copy, gonna get caught. Really nice rolling thunder in. The doom comes out. Dragon tail as well. They will snowball to dodge out a little bit of this. Gunner walking in as well. Does have that Aghanim scepter, just trying to get some quill sprays to try and blow up this team with the goo. They take down one onto the backside, but Gunner's in deep. He's just getting a lot of uh, use out of this Snot Rocket. It's just hitting everybody. He's going to go down, but it's going to oh, cost the Yamato sprays. in the process. Four stacks of the goo on Skems. He's trying to hobble away. They will finally expire, and he's going to be safe. Yuma finds a little mango for uh, his efforts there. A three for two. Not a bad fight from Nouns. In the end, the majority of damage from They're the... They're looking for Skem, though. And they got him. Nice dive there. Terrorize doesn't make it in time. The TP in from Yopa should help him at least bring down Lelis, unless he can get a Drinking Buddies, friend. He's trying. He's so close. Up to the high ground. Soul Assumption's got him. <laughs> a good attempt, but well played from the Visage to make that rotation in. Now, Yopa actually needs to be a little bit careful himself. You want Manta dodge that... He's still there. He's stuck there, but... Okay, yeah, Swashbuckle's down. He's fine. I thought they would fall back, but... 
She's still sticking around this area. Maybe wants this last tier two in the mid lane. Blink Dragon Tail into the Rolling Thunder and a Doom once again. Copy. Not having the best game. Ice Shards will hold Skem in place. He's got a TP, but the Lucent Beam is there. Terrorize. Not going to bail him out. A one for one trade. Once again, taking down this Earth Spirit. You do have a scaling enchantress, though. So, despite all of this, Fly is quite large. Dragon Lance on his way to the four stat. Might have a full pike, honestly, on his courier. It's your last fortify. Dopage needs to be careful. Copy goes in. Doesn't quite connect with the Doom immediately from Scam. Terrorize. Doing some big work. Dragonite comes in on the backside as well, getting some damage, but Snowball is going to buy him some time. And Gunner letting the Quills fly, letting the Snot Rocket just stack up on everybody. Yuma's age is 40 seconds left. It's going to get popped. Copies back in, rolls in, hits the Magnetize. It's going to attack four of Shopify. And Gunner just standing his ground. He says, you want to go in my care? You got to go through me. They're falling one by one. The Eclipse doing so much work. And just like that, Shopify forced back into the fountain as they buy back on two. This snot rocket on this bristleback is actually very problematic. Yopaj pops the roll up, trying to get away. Great shard block, going to keep Hellscream in place. And the quill spray will finish the job. Yeah, I think, I mean, we usually think of Dragonite as being very strong versus physical damage. Currently sitting at uh, 32 armor with all his bonuses, but I clicked on him in that fight and he was he was at zero That is such a big difference in how much physical damage you will take uh, from this Luna Who has a Crystalis and these glaives bouncing everywhere because the the towers are down It's a really cool combo actually and They call it and they GG as soon as the mega creeps come out. They know this one is not happening I'm feeling Huskar, man. It like Copy's been want like just waiting. Just give him the Huskar. Oh, okay. Earthshaker. Well, now we're definitely kind of all cool in. Too. Top lane. Good harassment out here from Skem. Actually, I, he's actually dead. He went boots first, dude. Okay, Skem, I see you. 360 ms on the omni just walking at them i mean once they get more levels here on this lane it's not going to be too it's not gonna be nearly as you know difficult for nouns to lane this but you need to get to that level two on this grim stroke scam nice dodge there with that uh repel and now he's just gonna chase not after away. <laughs> Ooh, who's gonna die first scam gets the kill you're missing the ink swell with it it's a very easy turnaround. Well, I don't know what those things are called. What's the well called? The Lotus Pool? The That's pool. what it's called. I should be able to play in the pool. Ooh, Skem top lane. Finally paying. Yeah, Skem finally dies, but you trade for your Kunkka. Lotus gets a little bit of damage out, but you're very happy about this once again for Shopify. Mid lane, not looking so hot. Copy. Yeah, oh, he's got so him. Hot. Right on the edge. I thought for sure he was out of range. Well, that's exactly what you wanted out of your counter pick here. A uh, storm is CSing all right, but being solo killed is huge. And looks like in the bottom lane, they run down the ET. Maybe. I mean, you have a rough feeling storms do this, right? Like even in a winning lane, you see a lot of stormers do that. Skem. Oh, oh the echo the off of the, the echo. hard camp. Oh, that hurts. There's a stacked hard camp there. We're just waiting. I'll farm the hero with it. That's cool. Yeah, it's a position five, but you honestly don't care. You're just looking to use the, the echo as soon as possible because you really just yeah. want to get to that blink dagger when you start being more active or like agonims, depending how your game's going. Uh, so just like the quick single kill echo is fine. Fly going to fall in the meantime. This Morton pick's working out. They've found this ET twice now. Yopaj will not be able to find him. They're like, Both yeah, there's a ward top lane guy somewhere. I actually think I'm looking and I found Lelis here. Scan connects, so they knew someone was waiting around. Lelis thinks that it's a, a ward, but just felt like he had a haste. He could do it after the scan connected. 
I know he's they low. Have... He, they might dive this. They're gonna go now. He doesn't sure. have his boat. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Yopaj is plenty tanky. X into Torrent, cannot connect. Of course, dodges it with the Ball Lightning and let us nowhere nearby to help. So, really nicely done. That being said, Copy finds a quick little solo kill onto Hellscream in the mid lane. Yeah, the nice thing about this Blink, though, is that the Inkswell, so in the lane, it was very tough to use versus the Omni Knight, but now yeah. it'll be easier with your Blink Earth Shaker. You can Fissure out of sight, Blink in, Totem Stun. For example, there you go. That's why you don't need the Echo. The supports just can't deal with a core Earth Shaker and Max Totem. I don't, the Inkswell, I don't think he even got to it, it do its burst damage. <laughs> did a I little bit like of a blue damage. speed. That's a part of here. Now, let's see if they can punish the Brood, who they know would have gone here on her own. Awesome. Even if the other up. heroes are trying to get here, they would be slower if they weren't smoked like this. Do you find a storm? No, they Not do. Quite fast I mean, enough. The scan had connected. They were definitely ready for this one, and Copy is just gone all alone. So deep on enemy territory, and Yopaz jumps in, gets the Vortex here to pull back fly. They're going to get themselves a second kill here. As Yopaz is now on a killing spree. Lelis, I want to say, should get out, but you never know. All right, now Blood Grenade is there. Does not have Inkswell mana, so he's dead as well. Amaterasu will just run him down. Gunner, not enough damage on his own to kill. A Luna is, what, 2,300 gold up mid lane. Yopaj again protected by the repel copy. Just goes up onto the high ground, deletes. One hero, hero. Ooh, Delete. oh, okay. Okay. That, that is, is a great turnaround. And you they just need a little bit more attention. It's going to come from the Shaker. Really good turnaround here for the side of Nouns. They were... They should have an advantage here where they've got the auras compared to nouns. But it does depend how the fights break out. Not quite able to connect on that totem on the Omni. Yeah, I don't He's think he was expecting that to, to pop that fast, but X will pull back Yopaj. Silence, however, from Hellscream doing so much work here. Regen does not come out in time, and they just rip right through this Earthshaker. A little shotgun blast. Gunner might be breaking the smoke up here. Oh, gets the blade mail off, but they have so much damage. I don't know. Ooh, he almost kills Hellscream, actually, in the process. All right. Well, there we go. Aegis into the backpack of Storm, and they come. Oh, this is a huge kill if they find it. And they absolutely will. Dang, Yuma not respecting the ability to Twin Gate that quickly. Might be the target of a zip gank in just a moment here. Oh no, he blinks Ooh. in. Uh, he gets away for the moment. He might be fine. Like, Ags on Storm is re okay, though. Really nice save over so Amaterasu. Not Aegis, though. They get the sleep. He just full heals, basically. And now you've got to run. Yamato comes in, pops that Eclipse, just gonna do so much damage here to these heroes, the Earth Splitter. This tickles. Too dead, and you said it. If you lose your heroes right outside the high ground, this game will quickly come to a close, and that is what we're looking like. They're gonna be a nice pullback in here. Yamato saved, but that ult completely wasted by the stomp here from Fly. Atos to hold them back. They really want to get this Mar or this Luna. And looks like with the Marana's helping the drags back from Gunner, they get him. Okay. Wait a minute. Some signs of life. It only costs you the buyback on Fly. The big kill there onto the Luna. Be careful not to extend too far. They do see Yopaj, though. Stomp arrow. Can they keep Scam the from coming in? Oh, Scam makes it in time for the save. Yopaj is going to make it out, but they might be able to bring down this pesky Omni Knight with the auto attacks here from this Marana. Yeah, Stomp into Tidal Wave Pushback Arrow. That was kind of cool. Uh, looking for copy right now. Well, maybe it's going to be Gunner who walks a little too far up. That's, yeah. 
they're gonna go for the play for this 28 minute wisdom they get on top of copy he's got the bkb but there's so much damage coming in from the luna the boat comes through as well doing some work storm spirit leashed up earth splitter kind of connect as well it does the silence is there can they finish him off copy goes in. the huge echo finds three they grab like everybody that they needed on the side of shopify the stun's gonna prevent the tp out from l scream and they will grab themselves another kill. The soul bind, the repel will not get you away with that. Will they make it in time is the question. She's close enough to her team. It's pretty scary. I think if you can minute, leash. Power rune. Amaterasu just walks in. They actually miss a few of the spells. We'll be able to pull him back in. The X, the Torrent is there. The Tidal Wave pulls in Skem, but Storm Spirit just goes in super aggressively, and they don't manage to get the Soulbind onto anybody, so that's going to be okay. Pompey for now on the backside of the fight, trying to just play this one out. The boat's going to catch Yamato, but he pops the BKB of his own, copy with his own, the Tor, the Great Echo Slam onto Yopaj. Does he get the fish? He's so dang low. He needs one more auto tech, but the purification comes in. He stays alive. Oh, Luna, Luna dies Luna. right to. She just dies solo to all of nouns, though. And this solar flare, Marana. So from behind, Marana, instead of going for Gleipnir, got the Maelstrom for the farming speed, got the BKB, and then went straight Crystallis because she knew she needs the damage. Okay, forget all that. Skem? Uh, he's gonna get no. saved for the moment here on Yuma, but there's the fear under the Grimstroke on the backside. The Soulbind on to do is doing so much work. The Stomp doesn't even come out from Fly, but they get the job done. Two big kills for Nouns. Dude, look at this Omni it's Illusion. It's so Omni fast. Illusion. <laughs> <laughs> he, oh, dude, he, he's so slow. Before. Hellscream actually can't get away from this thing. He has to ult. The Opage comes in. They're gonna buy back on the Omni Knight, but Yuma hiding in the trees here for the moment. They're going to buy back on the Grimstroke now. Gunner, he's going to need some help. So the Tidal Wave's going to pull them down into the trenches with him. Gunner, likely to die. But can they get Yamato? He's going to BKB Solar very flare. aggressively. Yuma needs to be careful. You can't stand your ground here all by yourself. He's dead. The Crimson Guard doing work. As they buy back on the Kunkka. He's going to rejoin his team here in a moment. I think you gotta go. I don't know if you should be hitting this brood. Inkswell from Copy. They want to go for him. Here comes the boat. Pulls him back in. But on the back side of the fight, Yopaj looking for an entry. He's just trying to distract them on Gunner by as much time as he possibly can. The stomp out again. They don't want to reveal where the Luna is. They jump in, but they manage to find Copy. The stun comes out. There's going to be the Echo Slam. The Tidal Wave to pull him back, but Yopaj is okay. And Copy goes down in the process. The buyback on the Marana. Here comes the Earth Splitter. Yamato is going to need a little bit of help, but Marana, she does she not have TP? She can't make it out for the fight? It was a good defense from Nouns. They forced out a fortification. Bottom lane, you got to deal with this massive wave here. The Blink Echo from Copy! Does he One get him? so low! Oh my god! I'm surprised he took the three times arrow. I don't remember what the other fa the other talent is at 25, but... 250 oh, Star, Star Storm, Storm damage. damage. Okay, yeah. The multi-shot arrow is probably better. We saw what happens when you get like a stray arrow and onto the Luna, right? So... Yeah, I think that's why pros like it. It's just... It's just literally tripling your chances that you hit a lucky arrow and win the game off that. Cool. They find Hellscream. They actually find the Luna. She's going to have to BKB right away. Yuma turns it around, pops the BKB, the Satanic. Luna is doing way more damage. The Soulbind holds him down with the Earthslayer's there. Copy. Echo number one. Echo number two. He takes down the Storm. He takes down Hellscream. Skem trying to make his way back into the base, but he can't be done. Three dead on Shopify. Make it four. Double buybacks coming through, but I don't know. Nouns might have punched their ticket to Dreamlink I think this is 24 it. as the Fortify. It's available, but they're going for the throne. They want to end this game. There's no more buybacks. I can't see a way to hold this. I don't know if they ever use Refresher on Marana. I mean, you could have Solar Flare again if you want. I think she did use it earlier. Yeah. You're going to do what you can here on this Brood Mother. The BKB Vortex out from Yopaj, but there's just way too much damage from this Marana at this point. And this is it, man. Shopify, a valiant effort. But once again, 
knocked out by Nouns. Congratulations, as they will be the NA representatives at Dream League Season 24.